Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jaredsvillevet and Podly.com. It is the 1st of April, 2023. Um, I put a video out yesterday. It was my husband's, my husband's birthday and we were out celebrating. And yesterday, although it was my day off, I had a day like I have so many days. I get inundated with phone calls for requests for help from people who are somewhere else, who are not my client, and they're desperate to find access for affordable care somewhere. Uh, so people give out my name, um, specifically the ERs give out my name. I think that's really my, my biggest point of contention here. I have a really difficult time offering care that other people can offer. They have the means to do so. They certainly have the knowledge to do so. They just refuse to do so. And although I would love to be inspiring change in my profession, I feel like I'm inciting change instead. I'm being asked to do more and more things that other people can do simply because it's not profit profitable enough for them to do so. Um, those things include at-home care. If somebody has very limited resources, most of these things are fixable, or at least should be given the chance to be fixable. I don't really care what that is, any kind of vomiting diarrhea. Um, I have had two cats this week with fractured legs, and both of those people have been offered three things, and three things only, and I have the documentation to prove that. Orthopedic referral, four to 8,000, sometimes even more than that. Amputation, two to $5,000, somewhere around there. Um, or euthanasia, three options. My concern and my problem is that there's a lot that you can do in between amputation and euthanasia. It is acceptable to send an animal home on very strict cage rest with antibiotics if there's an open wound or pain medication. And we have lots and lots of options for that to see how that pet de does. That may be, see how they do for a day, three days, a week, eight weeks, the, the length of time that it takes for a bone to fix. Um, and we're not giving people that option. I, I don't understand why. Um, and quite honestly, it's not acceptable. Anybody who comes in with vomiting diarrhea, we can try sub-Q fluids, anti-nauseas, which are injectables. For cats, there's injectable antibiotics that are long-lasting antibiotics. We have a lot of things in our repertoire that we can use now to help mitigate cost and to help provide a basic level of care. Even if you think that animal is dying, so even if we believe your animal has some terminal illness, you can go home with pain meds. We do it all the time in human medicine. We don't offer euthanasia. We send them home with palliative care. That is an acceptable option. It is not being offered. It's not being documented. And it is leaving a huge group of people searching for care elsewhere and really desperate to find it. And they're knocking on my door. And every time they knock on my door, I offer all of those things. It really starts with investing in your patient's care. It all starts there. Anytime there is a problem, we say, okay, here's our problem. What's our common goal? Start the conversation and what's the common goal? If the common goal is I want my cat to stay alive, that's an acceptable common goal. And then we go from there. How do we do that? What is your budget? What works for you? What can you emotionally afford? What can you financially afford? And what is feasible? As long as that patient is eating, drinking, peeing, pooping, and has some degree of ambulation, I'm okay with that as being a basis for quality of life. I'm okay with saying, let's give it a couple days. I'm here for you. We can follow up in 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, rediscuss our goals, rediscuss our options, and then go from there. That is not happening. What's happening is veterinarians are seeking to find immediate, large profited, golden, <laughs> golden ivory towered standard of care, refer to an orthopedic surgeon. But in reality, that is not feasible for most people. 90% of the people cannot afford a $10,000 hit for their pet's care um, for an acute issue. Um, then we're not saying, okay, what does work for you? Let's figure out some way to talk about the common goals, talk about the things that are feasible, and then let's go from there. It is all about being a compassionate person invested in patient care, and that is significantly lacking. We are becoming a profession of really, really skyrocketing demand, really skyrocketing prices. We are now working for venture capitalists who have their own set of agendas um, to make 
their shareholders happy. Um, and there is a chasm of people who are just being heartbroken in between. I don't know why we can't go back to sitting down, talking one-on-one, -on -one, reminding ourselves that we're all here to take care of that pet and then working from there. I posted a, a video yesterday. I took it down last night because quite honestly, um, as much as I'd like to inspire change, I don't want to incite riots and I don't want to further uh, the cause that is is the the problem in mental health in vet med. But that doesn't change the fact that there is a veterinarian out there or a bunch of you who are just offering things I know are very extremely expensive, things that are moderately more ex less expensive, and then euthanasia. There is more that we should do and there's more that we have to do. And I'm gonna provide some resources for that. Please go to pavli.com. There will be resources listed. I'm going to start providing checklists for routine examinations, routine ER visits, and all of the things that you can do in a very stepwise approach to get yourself some answers that everybody can live with instead of just being kicked out the door, told to go find answers somewhere else, and then being left with a pet in need who doesn't even in some cases have basic antibiotics or analgesics. All right, everybody, um, you know, I'd love to hear your stories and I'd love to be part of the solution instead of just being part of the problem um, or trying to take over everybody else's problem. Please go to my YouTube channel and you can see all the videos that I'm talking about. And please share your pets experiences and stories on Pobbly.com. All right, everybody, take care. Good luck. And I'm here for you. Bye.